Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. This is the House Mouse Collab 2019 with the Crafty Bean. This is the first collab for the month of January for 2019 and I'm so excited that you guys have chose to click on this video to see how I'm going to present the House Mouse for the year. So I'm really excited to share my House Mouse project with you guys. As you know, the House Mouse collab is normally hosted by Gracie21. She's turned it over to Crafty Bean. You can go back to the past videos and hear more about that in Gracie's 21 video as well as Miss Tina, which is Crafty Bean. So what I'm going to do is share some of the things that I use to create my project. Um, as you know, for the house mouse, we do not have any themes, but I work better in themes. So I'm going to share with you the projects that I, um, some of the product that I use to create my project today. And so one of the things um, that I really wanted to do for my first inspiration um, creation was I was inspired the fact that it was the new year. I don't make a lot of New Year's card. I've only made one in the past and this would be my second one, but my first one for House Mouse. So I chose to do that. So some of the things that I use to create my project, since I didn't have certain House Mouse um, product or different stamps that kind of showed you that it was a um, New Year's card, um, I basically created my own. I'm going to show you and tell you how I did that. Alright, so the first thing that I use, I started off with my different card bases, of course. So, um, I love my Distress Outside, so I gravitated towards those to create this project today. So, I use my black suit. And then I also use my Lucky Clover. And I use my Faded Jeans. Peacock Feathers. And I also use Pick Raspberry. Now, I took a lot of time in blending, so that's how I was able to create my background. So I was really excited about how um, everything came together. And then I also chose to use this rectangle die that I have that is stitched. It's a double stitch on here. And this came from Allie. And then I also, this is the house mouse that I, um, stamp that I chose to use. This one right here is called the Jean Bean, um, Jean Bird actually. Um, stamp and it has the house mouse as you see on there and it has this bird on top of the jelly beans so you see this image right here it says friend and mud pie on there and that was purchased from Tuesday morning I also use this stamp right here which is a Atlanta stamp and it's by little wee ones rubber stamp this stamp right here I purchased this from the heirloom stamp show a few years ago so I got this and I also use my Hero Arts stamp set that I purchased from Joann's. And this is a perfect stamp set for you new crafters who are just starting out because it has all of the sentiments or different holidays that are listed on here that you will pretty much come across. Um, for example, it says celebrate every day. It even has a St. Patrick's Day, Happy Easter, Halloween, Mother's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Um, just to name a few so basically it covers pretty much all your main holidays so this is a great stamp set to have in your collection if you don't already own something like this and then last but not least i also use this stamp set right here um, this is by cloud nine design and this stamp set right here i actually purchased this at a garage sale and i got only paid a dollar for this guys this was really really an awesome buy for 14 rubber clean stamps and I just use one of the sentiments from there for the inside of my card. And then in addition to that, I also use some craft smart paint and some folk art paint to create finish up my project today. All right, so now with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and share my house mouse creation with you guys. So remember how this image right here looks. Okay, so what I've done is this is my design. This is my finished project right here. So I chose to make a New Year's card as I mentioned and this is how my card turned out. So if you're looking at the card right here, you will see that I chose to make a Atlanta skyline with the fireworks at the top. And so you can see all my distressed outside inks being blended in the background. And then I went back and I stamped the Atlanta city skyline in the back and it's um, pretty much um, like a part scene as well because you can see some of the Atlanta city skyline in some of the parts in Atlanta 
and so I have the house mouse right here so as you notice I did not use the whole stamp of the house mouse so that's one thing that I love about this project right here because you can pretty much take a stamp that you have and one of my things and I want to challenge myself is to take one of my stamps and not use it exactly what you saw you can actually alter or mash your stamps out to create what you want and that's just a tilt for you new crafters so you can get more out of your stamps that you've already have in your collection so basically all I stamped was this portion here and then I went ahead and fussy cut out the house mouse I was um, my main thing was to look for a house mouse stamp that was looking up so I wanted one that was looking up and this is the closest one out of all the house mouse stamps believe it or not that I had that was looking directly up so that's how I was able to create this um, creation here and for my fireworks I thought I had an embossing folder and come to find out I did not have one that had fireworks on it so I decided to pull out my paint and go ahead and make my fireworks and that's how I was able to do that so I will bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see that and you see the blending so again it's in the park um, because Atlanta does not sit on water so it's in a park scene so that's why the bottom um, background layer at the bottom down here is green because it's grass and as you get closer it gets darker it's harder to see at night and that's the um, the scene that I was actually going for and for my house mouse I stamped it directly on the color that I wanted to use which was a gray and I just stamped it using my VersaFine and again I fussy cut that out and I just love the way it came out and I use that um, die to basically do the border to get that double stitch I uh, layered it with the black cardstock and then I also put it on white cardstock as well to have some more layers and so I'm really pleased at how this turned out I had so much fun creating this New Year's card and I want to um, you know give a huge shout out to everyone and hope your new year is starting off wonderful and I know where it's like you know a Saturday and it's like in the middle of the month already but hey this is what I was driven to do and here is the inside of my card as you would notice this 110 pound white card sock that I use I didn't want to just keep it white I chose to use those same distress outside colors that I um, use in the front of the card and I decided to do a flicking splatter technique and this is how this was created and this is the sentiment that I use in the inside from that stamp set I'll show you both of those it says the life given us by nature is short but the memory of a well-spent life is eternal and it also says happy new year so I stamped those separately there from the two different stamp sets and I just love the way that splatter came out just really really fun technique there a lot of fun but I suggest you use a uh, old shoe box when you do your splatter so it doesn't go everywhere <laughs> so um yeah so that's basically what i created and i want to thank you guys so much for taking out time to watch this first house mouse collab for january 2019 hosted by crafty bean here on youtube and i hope everyone has joined their saturday and make sure before you go you head over to check out all the collaborators that's listed down below in the description box you guys are so awesome and i will be having giveaways here on my house mouse collab so stay tuned because more will be coming back join us again for next month when i release another house mouse creation thank you guys again and have an awesome saturday Bye-bye.